Welcome to Let's Talk. I'm Sally Gibney. Well, guess what? Joseph Wooten is back in town. That is Joseph Wooten of the Steve Miller Band. Hello, Joseph. How are you doing, Sally? So good to have it's you here. It's good to be back. And we also have Mr. Bill Mensch, the infamous Bill Mensch from Burn Burton High School. Sally, you finally got me on your show. I know, Thank I you know. For inviting I am me. so excited that you're both here. This is really, really so much fun. Joseph, you have had quite an April. Tell us about it. It has been quite, it was quite an April. Uh, first, my girlfriend had a big birthday this oh, year. Oh, that's Stephanie the biggest Lutcher. thing. <laughs> <laughs> she had a big birthday. We got a chance to celebrate that. Her birthday was right around the same time as Steve Miller got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall oh, of Fame. Oh, and that must have been incredible. That was exciting. Um, before I did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame extravaganza, I uh, came up to New York a couple of days early and went to Newark, New Jersey and spoke at a couple of couple of high schools there. Just like you did here. Yeah, that was oh that was really rewarding. That was that was really rewarding. And then um Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We went uh, the next day, we stayed in New York an extra day and we saw Hamilton. Are you serious? So we yeah those we those tickets are hard to come by, aren't they? We just went ahead and paid somebody scalped the tickets and we went ahead and like <laughs> we paid whatever it cost. Whatever it was. And it was worth it. Oh. And then uh Later on in the month, I went to Colorado and spoke, spoke at a high school in Pagosa Springs. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. Uh, they had the deepest hot spring in the world oh, in Pagosa right? Springs. And then, uh, what was the other one? I went to my high school, my high school, Denby High School in Virginia, had their 50th anniversary, their 50th birthday. Wow. And went there and they surprised uh, me and my brothers and named the music hall in the high school after the brothers. So now oh, wow. the music hall at Denby High School is Wooten Music Hall, which oh, was, isn't that neat. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. And well, now I'm here. And you and your brothers have been wonderful with sharing your talent and everything else with so many schools and so many kids and that's phenomenal. Well, yeah, really it's cool. it, it's exciting. It's as my mother, you know, used to used to say, you know, what's a uh, What's the world need with another good musician? We need more good people. And I say, you know, what good is it to be talented if it doesn't help other people? Well, so. well I know that's your philosophy, and it, it really makes a difference. It's well, incredible. I appreciate it, it's, and I enjoy it. That's I great. enjoy it. That's good. Bill, tell Sorry. us a little bit about you. Well, I think, Joseph, they're going to name a closet after me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I've seen just you. waiting. I've, I've seen. <laughs> I've seen how the students look at him, though, at Burn Burton, so I oh, know that you He is did. really the yes. most loved teacher at Burn Burton, and, and I say that uh, honestly, very honestly. Wow, thank you. You are. But tell us now, Joseph was here this week to be inducted in... Well, Go uh, Joseph came in, and he received the Gallic Humanitarian Award for his work that he does. He's wearing the medal right now. For the work that he does every day when he's out, you know, whether he's performing or talking to kids. And um, he also is our musical guest. Uh, Tell the, us about the Gullick event. Well, the, the event itself is an Academy Award style night. Uh -huh. And um, the kids work on films all year. And then they, if they're nominated, not every film is nominated. Now, how do they become nominated? Well, I have the kids submit the films and then I send timelines all around the country for people to look at. Oh, wow. People who are in the business, friends of mine who, I, I just have them look and say, which one do you think is... And these are people who know what they should look like. They're, they're Correct. They're if, it's, if it's specific to, to the school, I have teachers look at it. Uh -huh. If it's a specific inside joke, I have that. If it's for best film, I send it out to my filmmakers and say, which one wow. do you like best? Isn't that amazing? And none of the kids, the only person who knows the winner is me. Wow. So the kid, it's a surprise for everybody, which is really fun. Oh, that is neat. Now tell us why it's named the Gullick event. Brian Gollick was a, um, a wonderful teacher at Burn Burton Academy, um, and he built up the broadcast journalism and the cinematography, cinematography program, and then um, passed away at a young age mm. and was a dear friend. And actually, even when we'd visit him in the hospital and he knew he was dying, he was telling me what needed to be done. Really? A and um, it, people ask, do you think of him every day? I'm like, well, I, I how do. How could you help that? How could, how could you not? His picture's up on the wall, and not only that, but every time I make a film that is over two minutes, I hear him saying, shorter, cut it. 
cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know the students love him. I know um, my son even knew him, and when I told him that he had passed, he was very sad because he said he was a very special person who made every student feel special. He, he was. Know, he was and, that. That's and, why uh, he deserves a show named yeah, after him. Yeah. And now this is the sixth year. This I was believe. the sixth year. Um, th I just want to say that having. Joseph fly in obviously gives it the gravitas, mm -hmm. uh, but it says more about Joseph because he's been touring with Steve Miller. They've gone into the Hall of Fame. His brothers have been performing. He's been getting these awards. He's been working the streets, talking to kids, and he's about to get on the tour bus and travel the country. Uh -huh. He don't need to, doesn't need to fly up from Nashville to do one song at a show. Well, he does. That's Joseph. So, but as, as talented as a musician, he's a better person and you kind of hope that someone you admire for their talents is also yeah. a decent person and he's more than a decent person he's he is everything he seems to be and yeah. that meant a lot and when he finished the song last night you saw the kids oh. jump out of their seats yeah and that was spontaneous and I don't have to go around and say don't forget to yeah. clap that no, it really was because we were right there behind the students and as you finished they all stood up it was it was just spontaneous and it was it was really beautiful. It was it, the honor was to me was mine because I've been playing music my whole life. That kind of comes naturally. Not when I say it comes naturally, I don't say that meaning that I'm that talented. I mean that I'm that comfortable doing it because uh -huh. it's what I've done my whole life. As my mother used to say, when people would talk to her about how talent how talented her sons were. She would say, they've done it their whole lives, by now they ought to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't so, she wasn't so uh, moved by the fact that we were talented. Uh -huh. she, she wanted us to have substance. But the honor is mine because that's the best part of playing for me, uh -huh. is, is, is hoping that once you've done it, it's helped people to be better. And if it helps people to be better, it helps me to be better. And I could see from what, all the things that he just said, my mother would absolutely be smiling uh, right yeah, now. I'm sure she would. She would be. absolutely be yeah. smiling because that's what she worked hard on. She worked hard to make sure that we were that we were good people, uh -huh. and that uh, as I've said this plenty of times, and it deserves saying as many times as you can. She would say, "What does the world need with another good musician?" We have enough good musicians. We need more good people. Uh -huh. And that's pretty much what I try to do. And like to go back to my old high school and, and find out that we meant enough to them for them to make our name a permanent part of the school. Yeah. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was cool. That was yeah. really cool. I was really happy for Steve Miller and he mm -hmm. deserved it. But it was not it didn't mean more to me than that. It didn't yeah. mean more to me than than this award, a humanitarian award is is and a big deal. Would you share that one little thing that your mother always used to say to you? Well, w when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror, you've seen the most important person that you're going to meet that day, but you're no better than anybody else, yeah. which is a, it's, that's a valuable message, especially for young kids. I mean, we started playing, I started playing when I was five. By the time I was uh, eight, seven, and eight, we were we were playing nightclubs, and yeah, yeah. and people were already telling us how good we were at a young age. So that's an important. She kind of needed someone to kind of keep your feet on the ground. That's an important thing for a young person. Yeah. For for a young person to learn. Now, um, our feet were kept on the ground anyway because we always did what we did in the presence of our parents. So we weren't really at that risk of. A lot of young musicians who, if you're 10 years old and you're around, you know, weed smoking, alcohol drinking musicians, we weren't around that. We were around parents. Yeah. So we got that a chance. That had a huge impact. Yeah. yeah. We, we, were, we were always in the presence of parents who were setting a good example. So in my opinion, it's not, it's not that big of a deal that I turned out well. Uh -huh. Because it would have been harder for me not, not to turn to. out well <laughs> than to, we than to turn out well. So yeah. at this point... I'm just trying to help other people 
uh, with the same benefits that I had. Yeah, which is one, and it's wonderful when you speak to musicians. Bill, I wanted to ask you about the kids. How are they through this whole process? You know, I mean, getting, you know, I, I've seen you in action, and I've seen you down in, in, in your, your hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get and out it, of education. And it's absolutely amazing, and there's so much going on, and, it's, but, and there's so many pieces. How does that all work, and how are the kids working together, and it, for, what do you? It, there's always a lot of pieces, and you try to, you try to, a lot of the messages that Joseph has, we use cinematography as a vehicle for it. Uh -huh. um, because there's a lot of films that you didn't see last night that were good. And there's uh -huh. a lot of films that you saw last night and some of the kids weren't part of the nomination because they chose to help out. Yeah. You know, they chose to carry lights. They chose to be that person. And those kids are the ones who are going to get better. I can, I, I can tell you which kids. They may not be the best cinematographers, but they keep volunteering to carry lights. Right. I'll go over. I'll be an extra. I'll walk around. And um, you know, that process yeah. of being a part of a team and understanding that um, whatever you're doing is, is, is key and integral to yeah. the film. Right. Uh, it, and, and then the other part of it is they don't, they don't know what's going on uh, for the nominees, so there is a buzz in the room for the last four or five weeks, which is why the opening film uh -huh. that we did was um, the kids kidnapping me to find out who the winners were. <laughs> <laughs> that that is so an well. actual nightmare I have because it's, <laughs> they will look at me and say, okay, uh, how did I do? Did, are the votes in? And they're trying to see things. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've done I can't tell them anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, but, but you know, you could feel in the audience now, Joseph, you were over on the other side, but where we were, we were right behind the kids. And, but they cared about each other. I mean, it right. was a matter of them being happy for each other. It wasn't a, you know, kind of a tense kind of, right. uh, they, they all seemed to be there for each other because as you say, they were a part of it. Absolutely, and, and, and a lot of them have worked on films that they weren't nominated for, that they were cheering for. Uh -huh. you know, they, they all understand what the process is, and they're yeah. all in it together, you know, I mean. Yeah, but I think that has a lot to do with you. I think it's what you bring to the table and how you treat them and make them all feel important, like Joseph is talking about, well, that each person see, matters. When I come in, I come in with a little bit of quote-unquote star power, which uh -huh. is artificial, kind of. You know what I mean? I play with the Steve Miller band, therefore I'm here and they're there. It's really, it's really artificial. But the part that I enjoy the most is a lot of the accolades that I get for coming in and speaking to students when I could be doing other things. And in my opinion, it's accolades that should go to the teachers that do it every day. Uh -huh. I have the easy part. I come in and I say some worthwhile things once. Uh -huh. And then I leave and I leave the heavy lifting <laughs> to the teachers who do it every day. But you see the effect with, with an event last night, and not just with the event, just watching the students as they go through their day, you can see the effect of, of good instruction and good examples mm -hmm. set by teachers who do it every day with all of the other responsibilities of, yeah. the, of, of grades and the overtime that's not yeah. viewed as overtime yeah. and, <laughs> and the spending of your own money that seems like it should be, that, sh that should it just is. be the way it is. To me, the, 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 the credit really goes, really goes to the teachers. And, and the other thing also is you get a chance to see, with all the things that he was just talking about, the power of art. Uh -huh. The power of art and, uh, art and music, because art and music does what nothing else can do. All of the things that these kids learn about making film or making music, uh -huh. Every piece of it makes them better people. There's no destructive part of learning about making a film or learning to play music. And it's always a shame when the arts get cut because mm. the arts are the only thing that has no negative side. Yeah. Like you can be, you can learn to be a scientist. You can either cure cancer or develop a nerve agent. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You can be a great mathematician. You can, you can help somebody save money or you can be Bernie Madoff. But there's no negative side to art. All the things that he mentioned about, you know, working with other people or, or too much emphasis on you makes the team look worse or, or practicing your craft uh -huh. to get better or being on time or all those things about art make you, make you better people. Yeah. That's the reason why I enjoy it because the benefits of art and the benefits of being a better person go hand in hand, yeah. and it's easy to teach one yeah. while teaching the other. Exactly. And that's the part that and I And that's the thing now, Bill, uh, you are known 
for going above and beyond the call of duty. I and mean, making it look easy. That's yeah, the other that's thing. it. And and like he's and, and you enjoy it. I mean, it's not that you you look like you enjoy it. You really do enjoy it. And I wanted to know, like, what time did you finally finish up last night? And then what time were you back there this morning talking about teachers putting in that extra whatever? <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't heavy lifting <laughs> last night, which was <laughs> nice. It was it was more of a victory lap. But uh, this morning <laughs> we were back up at five o'clock, and the kids were. By eight o'clock, we had all the chairs. You were at the at the art center. One hundred forty-seven chairs were taken out, and right now they're vacuuming, mopping the stage. Uh, the dancers are taking all their wardrobe back out. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody, and that's an important piece, also. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, so, um, so, you know, it was your husband who said to me, "You should have kids who are uh, need community service or on detention to do it." And I said, "And and he was he was like, give yourself a, some help." Yeah. And I said, "It's important that." They set it up, mm -hmm. that they vacuum and clean it, that they mop the stage, yeah. that they set the curtains. You're part of the whole and picture. That they, right. And that the next yeah. day, they do that too. Uh -huh. That you dial up and enjoy the show, and I want them to, and that's uh -huh. why I have to do a lot of the things. And it was it, formal. Everyone looked wonderful. Everybody looked great, didn't Everybody they? was they great. tuxedos, and they're all dressed up. There's a lot of dress code yeah. rules being broken last yeah. night, which <laughs> I, I, I told the kids. That's right. Yeah. No. So it, it's, it's, it's an important piece. I think that... But it's all a, a piece of helping them become the best people that they can be. Right. You know, teaching them really about life and, and cooperating and being together and enjoying it. You know, and, and that and was so And what important. I also enjoy watching, though, is how much they learn by good example. With the, there's a lot of things that you don't have to tell them because they see him do it first. Right, yeah. And that's the, that's the part that I, yeah. that I really enjoy. It's always enjoyable for me to walk in and see the value of teachers setting a good example. Uh -huh. I mean, that's um, there's there's almost no lesson that you can teach effectively that you don't teach with example yeah. first. Yeah, because they watch what you do. What not so yes. much what you say, but what you do. What you do They're and always how watching. you do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and uh, you and all of the teachers and the, it was so wonderful because the teachers were up there naming the the winners the and students, it, yes. it, it was just a beautiful. And I do want to say beautiful. that Brian Golick, who never wore a tie would be horrified that I made it a formal <laughs> event, but he's not around so he can't stop me. <laughs> but it is to honor him and the kids. Somebody asked me, oh, how do you get the kids to dress up? I'm like, oh my God, they love it. Oh, they, they do. They go shopping for their dresses. They know they're going to get asked, who are you wearing? Yeah. And, you know, what are you nominating <laughs> well, that's, for? Now that's the red carpet. You that's just, red carpet. just mentioned that you, that you had the red Before carpet. Before the show, um, for an hour, we have a red carpet with our uh, special guests and our presenters and we even had a cat walk the red carpet the kid mittens cat that. <laughs> was on the red carpet and the kids go through you know just a, a, a time to be yeah. introduced and say hello and what they're nominated for and uh, for yeah. for the girls who are you wearing for the boys it's mostly JC Penny but you yeah, know, it's I interesting know. Yeah, so. but it is just so exciting and there were some of uh, students who had graduated before who came back the Mole brothers were there uh, well uh, we honored we honored the Mole brothers who are doing some fringe um, work with skateboarding but always with the environment uh -huh. so so they'll go to uh, the, a broken down park in california and they'll show you how to you know they'll skateboard around it but they're also calling attention to that area or yeah. they'll go into the woods in vermont and and skate around on Unbelievable. on trees and yeah. that are broken down they uh. just it's it's yeah. really cool. Our, our son was a skateboarder and i was talking to uh, one of the boys and i said you know it, skateboarding is something that it, it, it gives so much, and it's wonderful that they're offering that to the kids. And well, it's, most it's another of the skateboard films are fairly boring. They're the same. They're, they're tricks, and you see right. the tricks. Yeah. To see them, and you could see from their show reel, they go yeah. in, and it's going place. down the woods. It was right, like and unbelievable. It's, a, it's about place, also. Yeah, yeah, which is really, I, really. I exciting. enjoyed meeting those brothers. Yeah, yeah they were great. The whole. It was just such a wonderful event, and and just thank you for doing that and for all of the the kids and and it, it it's just very very special and it means i got a, a chance to, to share with them about what it's like to work with brothers yeah because i grew up you know there was five of us uh -huh. four of them so we got a chance to all oh, right to, on. Get, to, to sort of share about, about what, how how nice it is to work with uh with family on what you love to do. Absolutely. There's just one quick thing because I know we're going to be uh, running out of time, and I okay. want I want to show your song. So um, you're going to, we're going to show your I Matter song, which is absolutely wonderful. But you have another song, Joseph, that really really touches my heart, and it's the one that we're all in this together. And I think it's a song that today is a message that we all need. And could you just share a little bit about that song? Well, I like to. I come from a family of musicians that's known for you know musical prowess uh -huh. 
And uh, I like to play songs, I like to write songs that move people. So I think I wrote this and I was probably watching politics because I, I like to try to pay attention to what's going on. And it just seemed to be a message that, would, that applies to everybody, just like I Matter. I try to, that song, I tried to write a song that applied to everybody. Uh -huh. And We Are All In This Together is a song that applies to everyone and it's just a, it's just an idea that it seems like we could all use right now, especially right now in the political season when we sort of all People go to our anyone. corners. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and we are all in this together. Yes. You know, it really... I'm not so sure of all the highlights last night that, that you playing that at the after party wasn't one of the one of the top three well, it was yeah. one of the uh, top three moments I mean of the night absolutely my song I love that song and it, it, I, I see it I see it moving <laughs> I see it we are the world that is that is once you as record that it's as a songwriter you know when you you can feel when you've written something special I felt it when I wrote I matter which almost seemed like it and wrote we're gonna, itself we're going to see it uh, we're going to everyone is going to but we're all in it. we're all in this together it's just one of those songs you I see how it affects other people and mm -hmm. I know how it affects me so it's absolutely going to be the next it's, thing that I it record. Is, it is absolutely wonderful, and, and I, I'd like it to be my foundation's theme song. You're free to Got use it? it. Okay. You, you heard that. Uh, everybody, <laughs> yes, and, and thank you so much. I, we could talk forever and ever, except that I do want to have a little bit of last night's event and absolutely. you singing your song, because I think all of you out there are going to enjoy it so much. Thank you so my much pleasure. for being here. Thank you, Bill, Sally. you are one in a million. Thank you so much. And for all of you out there, um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. And now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Our next guest is the Gala, Gala Humanitarian Award winner and also our musical guest, One Stop Shopping. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Joseph Wooten. He's a three-time Grammy-nominated artist who has been a keyboardist and vocalist for the Steve Miller Band for 23 years. Last month, the Steve Miller Band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Joseph's elementary school years were spent with his siblings playing nightclubs and sharing the stage with Curtis Mayfield, War, and other major artists at the time. In the 80, 80s, Joseph's unmatched talent and undeniable groove landed him work with Arista Records, where he played keyboards and also sang backup with the likes of Whitney Houston and Kenny G. When he's not traveling city to city, Joseph can be found speaking to students of all ages about character development and personal growth, using his own life experience as examples. He came to Vermont this fall and spoke to students all over the state to support local hero Sally Gibney's You Are Never Alone Foundation. He's about to begin his summer tour with the Steve Miller Band, but he flew up from Nashville with Stephanie Lusher to be our musical guest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Gallic Humanitarian Award winner and musical guest, Mr. Joseph Wooten. Start putting music gear 
in the trailer and as elementary school kids, we would go and play nightclubs and, and he was able to keep us safe and, uh, and give us opportunity. My mother was always very wise and she was never really concerned with, with how talented we were, she was more concerned with what kind of people we were and she would give us um, things to live by. A couple of them that I remember that's, that still stick with me that I try to pass on to young people is that she would say that when you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror, you seem the most important person that you're going to meet that day, but you are no more important than anybody else. She would also tell us that uh, about success, she would say that you're successful already because you're good people, other people just don't know it yet. And, uh, she would always make sure that we knew that it was much more important who we were than what we did. So that's what I try to pass on to young people, especially artists, because art can do what nothing else can do. If, the, if a politician makes a good point, there's somebody else immediately that will say something else totally opposite just to muddy the water and then you don't really know what to think. But if you write a song and it moves somebody, there's nothing that anybody can do to separate that person from that feeling. That's the advantage that art has. So my advice to young people is to never, is to always realize the value of what it is that you do. Because what you do makes a difference. I had somebody ask me, and I get asked this more and more the older I get. But somebody asked me, how can I get to the next level? As an artist, I want to get to the next level. And my answer was, start by doing everything that you can do at this level. Um, there's a lot of people that need your help. Don't worry so much about fame. Uh, worry more about making your art and your life mean something. It doesn't take any legislation if you have an extra jacket to give it to somebody who's cold. Um, it doesn't take legislation for you to be who you're supposed to be. And you never, never underestimate the value of ordinary goodness. Don't think that, uh, don't think that success always has to do with outcome. Success has to do with content. And if you have content, good things will happen. Nobody, Few people planned on burning down the whole forest because they had one match. Goodness has that same, it has that same chance of, of, of uh, growth in size. So uh, be more concerned with who you are and what you do. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Sally Vivney uh, for giving me the opportunity to come to Vermont. I love Vermont. Um, I love Vermont people. I, I've said it a bunch of times since I've been here, and I've got to always be careful about not using the word simple. I like how uncomplicated. <laughs> Young people haven't really had that chance to be as tainted 
as adults. Young people don't have any problems that adults didn't have first. So I want to thank these young people for being encouraging. And wherever there's uh, great young people, there are parents somewhere that have done the right thing. So I'd like to thank the parents of these kids. Um, and I'd like to say that it's important to be a good example. So thank you very much.
and you matter. <laughs>